All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this MSI GT72 2QE Dominator Pro. Um, this is gonna be a two-parter video because I have another customer coming soon, so I'm gonna have to stop the recording. Um, on the bottom here, it says the model is MS-1781. Okay, so first what you wanna do is remove all the screws from the bottom, so you'll use a PH or a J1, and then You'll need kind of a long screw screwdriver. You can't use like just this piece alone because the screw in this part here is like too far down. So I have this adapter that I kind of made it so it sticks out a bit longer, um, but you can use a regular screwdriver um, and then you should be able to reach this. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so remove those seven screws. And then after you do that, you have this tab here to pull it open. All right, I will have to do a little more research on this later, but just pull on this. I'll, I'll explain in a bit. Okay, so this kind of gets stuck. You have to kind of pry around and then just lift it up and it'll come out just like that. All right. um, under here, you'll see the two fans. So these two fans you can remove without taking the whole thing apart. Um, there's the battery connector here that you can pop out. Um, if I remember correctly, I don't know if I made a video, but this battery is actually um, double stick adhesive glued to the back of this plastic piece. So when you lift it out, just know that. Um, so there's the hard drive here. The hard drive, let's see, is it held down with anything? Looks like it's not held down with anything. So to take it out, you would just um, pop this little tab and then you can take this connector out. Um, and this is a two and a half inch SATA. You can replace it with a um, SSD if you want as well. So this part you can remove. Um, it's easiest to remove from the front here, but since that connector is connected, I'm going to pop it up from the back just to show you. Okay, so you can pop it out just like that. And um, the connector you just pop out by wiggling it here. If you have like a wider pry tool, you can pop out the whole connector using that like that. Okay. Then you got this with M, uh, two M.2 slots. Um, I don't know if they support PCIe and VME. I'm going to doubt it because there's only this one connection here. I don't think that's enough pins to handle um, PCIe and VME for both. Unless maybe this adapter is for like RAID setup. Um, it might be able to support two of them at once. For like um, adding three hard drives to this. All right, then you got two RAM slots here. These are DDR3, it looks like. <clears throat> I don't know the speed. On part two, I will actually take the whole cover off and then I will check um, what what speed that RAM is. Um, you got the video card here, which it is replaceable. So if something goes wrong with it, you can replace it. You will have to take all the heat sinks out and the fans. Um, and then the thermal pads and the re you'll have to redo the thermal paste and then the heat pads make sure not to get them dirty so you can reuse them if not you'll have to replace those as well and the cpu um it looks like it's actually soldered to the board so the cpu i don't think you can actually replace that yeah okay so <clears throat> that's probably all i'm going to show for the first part um there are all these connectors these connectors to remove them, you have this little part that you need to pull up and then it releases the cable and then push it back down to hold it tight. All right, and then you got these other connectors for the speakers, you can remove those. You got the battery connector. The battery connector is a little tough, but basically you just keep wiggling the connector, just keep wiggling it and it'll pop up. Then you got the CMOS battery here, you got the wireless card here. Um, the wireless card, just like all the other ones, pull up from the tail to remove the antennas and then push down on top when once you have it lined up properly. Okay, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm going to show for this one. Um, I will do a part two after my other customer comes and drops off their computers. And sh I'll show you how to get underneath the keyboard and disconnect all these other pieces. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.